wicked building mansions for judges. This is a man who has been severally accused of trying to put judges in his front pocket. Same wicked has his cousin in INEC as an INEC commissioner. It was that guy that just conducted a due election. Mm -hmm. That is the country where you believe that elections should be free and fair. No politically exposed person should be a judge. No politically exposed person should be in INEC. 85% of people in INEC today, they are politicians. I, I took Professor Rufus to court. She's an APC card carry member in Bayelsa, and she was appointed INEC, a, an INEC national commissioner. Look at Wicke's cousin. He's a national commissioner in INEC. Wicke's wife is a judge of the Court of Appeal. Politically exposed persons should not go anywhere near our judiciary. So, a situation where before the electoral process starts, the process is already rigged. You cannot expect anything credible out of the process. It is in the news that the Federal High Court in Abuja stopped the CBN from further releasing monthly financial allocations to the River State Government. According to the court, the receipts and the disbursement of the monthly allocations since January this year by the Governor of Ubarra is a constitutional somersault, an aberration that must not allow to be continued. According to the judge who made the judgment by name Justice Joyce Abdul Malik, who issued the order on Wednesday held that the presentation of the 2024 budget by Fubara before the full member River House of Assembly was a breach of the Constitution. Specifically, the judge said that Fubara's action in the implementing of the unlawful budget smack of gross violation of the 1999 constitution he swore to protect. The judge therefore restrained the CBN, Accountant General of the Federation, Zenith Bank and Access Bank from further allowing Fubara to access money from the Consolidated Revenue and Federation account. This ruling did not favor the Fubara camp as the crisis between the Fubara and the Wiki is getting worse every day. If you could remember, Fubara in one of the interview he had with the channel television, he said that he knelt down for Wiki to resolve this issue. He said he do all he can do on this act to make sure that there is peace between him and his former boss, but to no avail. Although the PDP and the PDP governors all are uh, backing the Fubara government, but we can not forget from is that he will do anything to put fire in the house of those governors who are showing solidarity to Fubara. Some are saying even this ruling made by the court is a fulfillment of the promise Wiki has already made to put fire in any state uh, that is backing Fubara. Maybe he started showing this uh, fulfillment of his promise from his own state. Deji also continue to list heavy allegations against Wiki. Look at Wiki's cousin. He's a national commissioner in INEC. Wiki's wife is a judge of the Court of Appeal. Politically exposed persons should not go anywhere near our judiciary. Politically exposed persons should not go anywhere near EFCC. The reason why you see some of these things happening today, where EFCC wants to carry out an, an operation, and Yabelo already has in, a hint before the operation happens, is because go and look at the recruitment process for EFCC in the last 10 years. It's politicians, senators, House of Reps, they bring their children, their cousin, they bring a list. How can you have politically exposed persons, you want them to fight corruption? It can never happen. How can you have politically exposed persons in the judiciary, the wife of a known... On the reshuffling of the Tinubu's cabinet, Nigerians continue to react. Kenneth Okonko made an intelligence analysis uh, about the reshuffling. You came in and people were crying. The cost of governance is quite high. Then you sacked five ministers and you chose seven. How does that address the issue of cost of governance? Now, let's go to the nitty-gritty of the ministers that he chose. There are about 48 ministers in this cabinet, and there are about 32 substantive ministers. 
16 ministers of state for the avoidance of doubt ministers of state they are not recognized by the constitution they are contraption by the president by section 147 subsection 1 it is clear the president should appoint ministers of the government of the federation and by section 147 subsection 3 he said that appointment must accord with section 14.3 of the constitution which is the federal character principle which states that the composition of every government and the conduct of its affairs must reflect the federal character in order to command national unity national loyalty and ensure that there is no preponderance of persons from a particular ethnic group from a particular section on the government now this government has eight substantive ministers from southwest that's about 25 percent of the 32 ministers in nigeria in south south six states with the southwest they have only three substantive ministers that is about nine percent of the substantive ministers in the south is they have two that's about six percent of the substantive ministers so out of the 32, you see how Ogun State alone has more substantive ministers than the entire Southeast. And then equal ministers from the South-South. And I can name them if you want. Minister of Power, <clears throat> Industry, Interior, Finance, Communication, Education, Marine Resources, Solid Mineral. From Southwest. And they're talking about two. Southeast. Works science three south south you're talking yeah, about southeast um two two substantive ministers okay substantive you're substantive specific. there is okay. nothing like ministers of state that's a contraption of the president that is why first to said it at the fact meeting that it's illegal however it is not illegal because they are ministers of state it is illegal because the president is using it to say he has given a state a substantive ministry which is illegal because every state is equal by the federal character principle that's the whole idea of it so every state is entitled to a substantive minister he said at least one minister and i'm talking about section 147 subsection 3 of the constitution so what i'm saying is that in the south south you have the fct aviation and regional development ministers substantive so this government has continued in the line of governing this country with preponderance of people from the southwest his own geopolitical zone portraying him as ethnic bigot portraying him as a man incapable of uniting nigeria and giving people sense of belonging the danger is that his government will never get the loyalty that it needs to govern